Today, the governors of both Oregon and Washington are joining together to discuss the future of the I-5 bridge. They are renewing efforts to replace the century-old crossing between the two states. Elise Haas is live near the interstate bridge to tell us how the governors plan to move this project forward. Elise. Yes, well, the I-5 bridge is one of the busiest roadways in our area, seeing more than 120,000 drivers and cars a day. And so right now, the governors are trying and hoping to reopen offices in each state in hopes to make replacing this bridge a reality. Because one of the biggest concerns at this point is whether or not this bridge can withstand a major earthquake. And right now, transportation officials say the current bridge could fall into the Columbia River if that were to happen. Another factor, of course, is traffic. Governor Kate Brown says it's become so bad that she called the traffic a threat to Oregon's economy. So we spoke with some drivers to get an idea of how they feel about the traffic and the replacement project. We avoid it as much as possible. Um, definitely think they need to do something and it should have been done 20 years ago. They, in my opinion, they should build one next to it. If they wanted to keep that one open, they should build one right next to it and have uh, ha make sure they have a shoulder on it as well in case cars do break down. And lawmakers have been discussing a new bridge for a long time now. Millions of dollars were spent over nearly a decade trying to come up with a plan that could work for both Oregon and Washington. But that project died in 2014. And coming up this morning, the governors are going to have a formal press conference to announce their plans at 1030 this morning. So we plan to be there. So be on the lookout for updates on air and at coin.com. Reporting live in Vancouver, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.